there's one that's a good one right here folks yeah that's a good fish oh my 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 boy 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 you talking about a slab this one is a slab come on in here Ooh, that's a serious fish right here serious crappie that ain't no how's the cajuns say i love cajuns i love the way they they talk in louisiana which ain't far from here but they got a unique way of, of talking this ain't no baby baby quit that's a slab crappie i want y'all to know that is a slab crappie that's a big one that one right there is going to make some good flays i normally don't keep crappie this big but mama said for me to bring some fish home and that's what i'm going to do that one's not too big to fillet now if that fish was i don't know a couple inches longer I definitely would throw him back, but we're gonna eat that one. Let's put him in the bucket. <laughs> what I have right here is a Bobby Garland bait, 130, uh, a two inch bait with, excuse me, a 132nd ounce jig head rigged weedless. So what we're gonna do is fish under some of these docks and see if we can catch us some pretty good crappie today. I'm using four pound test high vis line and I'll have this jig tied with a Palomar knot so I can get all the strength I can um, out of the line because I am going to be fishing under docks where there's a lot of cover. Some of these docks has got some heavy cover up under it, up under them, such as, um, I don't know, parts of trees. Some of them's got refrigerators, people's throwing <laughs> all kinds of debris, cedar trees. All kinds of stuff. I'm using a six foot rod, a um, Daiwa Reverus 1000 size reel, and that's it. Now, this jig right here has a weed guard in it. It's a single strand, 40 pound test weed guard, as y'all can see, which I tie myself. And that's all they are to it. Blue ice Bobby Garland bait. So let's see if there's some more fish up under here. I imagine they are. Um, it's a 10 foot dock. But we may have to fish shallower docks to catch the bigger fish. A lot of times when the water temperature, here it is in the fall, the surface temperature is at 63 degrees. A lot of times the better fish will be on shallower docks. But we'll find out here in just a second. Let's make us a cast. Let it fall around five feet. That's where that crappie was. That crappie was around five feet deep. There he is. Oh my. Not a big one. Not really a bad fish, but not a real big one. He might keep and he may not. Uh, I don't know. He's going to be real close. But that's a black crappie. That fish might keep. We're going to measure him. He's going to be very close. But that fish was about five foot deep too. Or he could have been six or seven feet. I always fish high when it comes to crappie, folks. They have remarkable eyesight. Even in dingy water lakes. Um, they can, but uh, fishing above them, for a reason i'm doing it for a reason the crappie feed up can y'all believe that let me get my sprite out one of these sprites 10 and an eighth so that's a keeper right there you know folks the key to catching fish like this is no doubt being able to put a cast where you want it a lot of practice but hey it's worth it if you've never done this do it because it will improve your casting accuracy 
way up there um, and it takes a little bit of effort uh, it takes a lot of patience and it learns you to slow down your fishing which will cause you to catch more fish let's catch another one that should catch one right there yeah oh my goodness there's a bunch of them back there yeah why we should catch one right there there he is hard pulling fish now this one right here is probably a keeper let's keep her head down right here yeah that's gonna be a keeper right there let's net him yeah that's a 10 and a half 11 inch fish all day long oh yeah that's a 10 and 5 eighths 10 and 5 eighths that's a good keeper. We're going to put him in the bucket right there. And we'll see if there's our another one. That could be our another one right here before we move again. One never knows. It's a hard place to get back up. There's a key spot back up in there. And it's hard to get to it. Hard to get to it. But once you do, it's bingo. Well, is he going to attack me or what? That is the squawkingest doggone thing I've ever seen. I'm glad he left. There's something bothering that thing. There's one. Mmm, that's a good fish right here, folks. This is a good one. He's a good one because he's going to keep. I tell you what, that was a lot of fun. They ain't no cover at all under this dock right here. Nothing. Just shade and a shallow dock. This is a four-foot dock right here. I'm on the other side of the lake. I've been all over the place. That's a good fish. That's a good one. <laughs> These shallow docks seem to have the better fish on them, which is something I predicted before we started. That's about a 11, 11 and a quarter inch fish. Let's put him in a bucket. That'd be a good one to eat. Shoot, there ain't no way I'd be married to that old bad lax. Old lady Sadie, all she does is gripe and complain all the time. There ain't nothing to suit her. You can't do nothing, say nothing, or nothing to suit that woman. They ain't no damn blame way you can suit her. he is mm -hmm. pulling son of a gun right here folks come on in here that's a good one come on in here yeah there's a keeper right there yep good fish right there that's an 11 inch fish at least let's put him in a bucket I tell you what, another blessing from the Lord to be out here on the water with all these leaves floating on a beautiful fall day. I want to say this. God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments, everything y'all do for this channel. That a drilling kicked in a little bit quick and it disorient. Oh my goodness! Oh, whoa! Oh, turn! And remember, go fishing when you can because it's good. <laughs>